Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Saul, and I'm here today to read you a book called Unicorn and Horse. Now, I picked this book today because we are working on the sound of O-R today, and both unicorn and horse have that sound of O-R. So it's pretty perfect for that. And obviously, you know how much I love unicorns, so I clearly had to pick this book for that reason too. So I hope you enjoy this book, Unicorn and Horse. This was written by David W. Miles and illustrated by Holly Menger. This is Unicorn, and this is Horse. Unicorn is a unicorn, and Horse is, well, not. Unicorn has a sapphire horn, a silver coat, a rainbow mane, and perfect white teeth. Horse does not. Unicorn eats pink cupcakes for every meal. Horse does not. Unicorn makes rainbows. Horse makes something else. Unicorn dances. Tra-la-la. Horse sits grumpy. Blah, blah, blah. Unicorn prances. Ha, ha, ha. Horse looks frumpy. Paw, paw, paw. Unicorn makes everything cheery. Really cheery. Horse does not. Of course, all the animals love unicorn. He has a horn for squirrel to play ring toss. Bird lines her nest with his long, beautiful hair. And everyone loves sharing his cupcakes. Won't you join us, horse? Said Unicorn. No, I don't like you, said Horse. But what he meant was, I wish I were you. Unfortunately, not everyone who heard about Unicorn was a happy or unhappy animal. A rainbow dancing unicorn who eats cupcakes for breakfast could make someone a lot of money. One night, while everyone was asleep, two men crept into Unicorn's paddock. Quietly as they could, they tied a startled unicorn in ropes and loaded him into the back of their truck. Then, they were off. The other animals awoke when they heard the truck. Hurry, they're stealing unicorn. But I can't run fast enough to catch them, said Squirrel. And I can't fly fast enough, cried Bird. I can't run on the road, said Fox. And I can't run at all, said Turtle. Only one animal could. Horse thought. Hmm. And thought. Hmm. And thought. Hmm. Then he ran. And ran and ran. And with six great chomps of horse's large teeth, Unicorn was free. Thank you, said Unicorn. You're welcome, said Horse. This is Horse, and this is Unicorn. Sometimes Horse eats cupcakes, and sometimes unicorn eats hay. Sometimes horse makes rainbows, and sometimes unicorn does not. 
Horse likes races. Unicorn likes ring toss. But most of all, they like each other. Horse and unicorn are friends, and that's better than anything, even pink cupcakes. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that book, Horse and Unicorn, and I hope that it helps you remember that O-R says or. Or, or, or. Talk to you soon. Bye.